I'm Father Robert Ballaser, the digital Jesuit host of This Week in Enterprise Tech on the TWIT TV network. I'm here in Orlando, Florida from Enterprise Connect 2016, and I'm sitting next to Kevin Riley, the CTO of Sonus Networks. Kevin, what is Sonus Networks? Um, we're in the telecommunication infrastructure business. We provide primarily session border controller technology for the carrier core, carrier edge, on-premise, both on purpose-built hardware platforms and then more recently moving to fully full software offers through virtualization, cloud-based solutions. Um, we also have SDN assets that we market in terms of data center and also enterprise play to help manage applications in real time uh, with finer granularity, um, SD-WAN type, type of offers. And then we're also kind of on the mobility side with uh, diameter signaling type products for, for the mobile core. So we have a wide range of products that really span the signaling plane, the media interworking plane, and now more recently the network control plane. So you definitely have a position here in this hall among all these vendors. You are at the core of what it means to deploy a, a UC solution. But I got to ask, what are the changes? What are the trends? What are the things that have really pushed the industry over, say, the last 12 months that uh, Sunus Networks has picked up on? I'd say three main areas. The first is the application itself has changed dramatically over the last 12, even 24 months. Uh, we've, we've rapidly moved beyond just making a simple voice over IP call. Uh, we've moved into the areas of video, full unified communications and collaboration, right? much richer application, much more demanding application to support and deliver and interwork across networks. Um, we've also moved into new modalities. Um, UC is now being delivered over WebRTC, um, hot topic here, um, as, as it has been for the last three years. Um, it's also coming in over unlicensed spectrum, voice over Wi-Fi is now a new access modality into networks, into, into services. And now you have the, you know, the, the, the move from 3G into 4G as another type of access technology um, that these services are being delivered over. So we've really kind of enriched the services themselves, the transports and modalities that these services are being delivered over. So the app has changed significantly. I'd say that the second main area is how the app is packaged and delivered, right? I think we've seen, um, again, it's a prominent theme at, the, at this show, the application, the UC app itself, or the voice app, is, it's left the IT closet. It's moving to the cloud, whether it's the enterprise moving the app on their own to their own private cloud infrastructure, or the app just being outsourced as UC as a service and moving to a subscription model and letting someone else run that stack for you. Um, it's really had caused us to have to change and follow the app. And, and we, as a result, we've invested heavily in the virtualization of our products, our session border controller, products, our policy routing products, so that we can follow the app to the cloud and really move to web scale type of models for deploying our own products with the app. So it's, it's really dictated a heavy investment in virtualization and cloud technology at Sonus. Still supporting and recognizing that you do, there are lots of cases where it makes sense to deploy hardware on premise or at the access edge of the network, but there is a new model for deployment, make no mistake. And it is, it is moving to software and cloud and, and we're aggressively following the stack into the cloud. And I'd say, the third major trend that we're seeing is that as this, these apps leave the safety and the confines of the, uh, the IT closet, where only a few people can get in there with their badge, um, they're now moving out to private, shared infrastructure, some cases very public infrastructure. The surface area for attack for UC has become a lot greater. Um, and these services are also starting to be delivered over unmanaged networks over the top or an unmanaged last mile. And what I've seen is, you know, security is really starting to become top of mind as it relates to UC. You know, not, not just protecting the UC service from denial of service or theft of service or identity theft, all very important and I think um, require um, increasingly important as we move into these new service models. But also I, I've seen people recognizing that UC is a conduit into a larger network play. And it's not just protecting the UC service, but protect closing that window so that you know, an attacker can't get into a UC system and then start to move laterally across your other infrastructure and get at other critical data in your infrastructure. So I think you know, security, at least where we are as a session border controller company, historically we've really focused and seen our value in terms of interworking, dial plan management, routing, billing. 
And the security piece has always been there, but I've seen it ramp up significantly over the last 12 to 24 months as something that's very top of mind uh, with the CIOs and the CISOs. Because how do you know you can put up a big door for IP data and firewalls, but you don't want to leave that door open for UC. It's just as important to close that. And where we sit at Central Border Control Company, we're we are really the firewall for real time. So it's it's been interesting to watch this dynamic as kind of the deployment models change and how security is really ramped in importance. And it's something we're focused on a lot at Suns. I'd love to extend on that because I think you brought up two incredibly important parts. The first part is that UC is no longer UC. We expect UC to be wrapped into everything. That's, that's just how it, the technology has developed. And the other part is you can no longer think of it as you're deploying a communication solution. It's, it's deploying a solution that is in so many parts of your network plant that security becomes a vital part of, of the conversation. How do you see that playing out in the industry? Have you seen a lot of really bad deployments that don't take that into account? Can you point to a deployment that you say, this, this is good because they considered those things? Uh, typically, what do you see in your clients? It's interesting, so now when we, when we start to sell our solutions, we're not just selling to the owner of UC or the, the EVP of voice services. Uh, the CIO or, or his delegate or proxy is in the room as well. And I'm seeing, you know, there's a security posture that's being adopted by customers at their network edge or their cloud edge that we first have to adhere to and be part of and get sign off on that before we actually design into the UC stack that sits behind it. Um, so, you know, the best practices are, are kind of the right way that I see this starting to be done um, with customers we're engaging with is, is there's a separate cyber team that owns the posture for all the applications that run in the network and make sure that the applications, the stack or the equipment or the vendors that are being introduced into the network adhere to a corporate posture that that enterprise or that service provider wants to adopt. As opposed to these things just being solved in separate silos that are disjoint, right? And just hoping that each, each little business unit makes the right decisions as it relates to an overall security posture or cyber posture for a company. So the, where I see it being done right is where it's broken out as a separate stakeholder in the decision, corporate-wide, to make sure that you know, there's consistency and that new services as they're turned up adhere to a corporate posture. We've been speaking with Kevin Riley, the CTO of Sonus Networks. Uh, Kevin, thank you very much for speaking with us. This, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just a, a teaser into well, what Sonus Networks can do. For the folks out there who may be intrigued, by uh, your view of this, of the development of UC. Where can they go online to find more information? Um, I'd welcome you to come to our homepage, sonusnetworks.com. Uh, we have a, a nice library of white papers that outline where we are today, where we think the market's going, how we drive value in the stack, and how we see the world evolving. So I, I would encourage anyone who's interested to come to our homepage and, and peruse our white papers. Thank you for spending time with us. Thank you for sharing your tech. I'm Father Robert Ballas here, and we'll be bringing you more from Enterprise Connect 2016.